Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement with having. When a man is homeless, he does not need any black family or white family of indigency or otherwise affluence or influence going to him while he's sleeping and cutting his beard. If I point to my beard, it's because I have a very good measurement and always have one of two hands and more of the length of my beard. And the problem is that people think that their version of harassment is a part of the Lord's house. It's not. And when I work for my work, I work for my work. When you work for your work, you work for your work. When you work for your non-for-profit or your dance team or whatever it is that you perform for, that's on you. But in the concepts of life balance, we have the right to say what we will and won't do. We also have the right to decide whether or not we're going to have someone touch us or not. Permission-based touch is what people have to really understand today. And something I've discovered by approaching a table of young black women to find out what was going on for their dance troupe is the rudeness that I was receiving. Because I was simply just trying to assess what was happening. They have some of those poster boards that are handwritten, and they call themselves the angelic dance team. Well, that's great, but if you're angelic, then you're going to have a certain kind of theme. And that theme is benevolence, that theme is equality, that theme is diversity, and that theme is welcoming. I asked them if they had anything that wasn't chocolate, but a young person was trying to interrupt her elder supervisor, who was trying to explain to me what they had. And the truth is, because I'm allergic to chocolate, I'm not interested in what is chocolate. I was interested in what was not chocolate. But the concern I have for these people is, while they're vending outside the Dollar Tree, is what is the legal liability for what they're making? Because at what point did they do those things in a professional kitchen? At what point did they do things in a way that is, well, appropriate for me or anyone else in the time of COVID?